In this video, we're gonna show you the best practices for taking your pops to get autographed at conventions. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the castle cast. We're glad you passed by. You get the right time. We got an all-time mind. Bubbles out, toys, and chimes. Don't mind. Stick around, like, comment, and be sure to subscribe. Because life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. Hey, life's a little better when you answer Chris and Heather. And remember, if you travel long, we are together. Yes. We've done autograph videos in the past where we tell you the best paint pens to use when getting your autograph. But in this video, we're going to explain to you how to get prepared for your autograph at the next con. We are going to a convention today to get a few items autographed. And I figured, what better time to show you guys our methods than right before a con. We're going to take you along with us to Awesome Con DC 2023 and we're going to show you how the pros do it. So the first thing you want to do is get any protectors off of your pops or whatever else you have going on and I don't know where I'm going to get this signed. I'd really like to get the actual item signed because I love U2s when they're out of box. I'm actually gonna remove my pops out of the boxes. I'm going to flatten them and we're gonna carry just the boxes with us and no figure at all. I'm actually going to carry the box just in case I like decide I want the box signed, but I think it would be really cool to have him sign the actual item. I just don't know like where he would sign it. Maybe like here? I don't know. I would have him sign right here on his cheek. Oh, that would be I cool. I think that would be cool. I'm going to flatten mine as well, just in case. We've gone to cons before and we flattened our boxes like so for autographs. And they will actually upcharge because they're signing Funko Pops, but sometimes they will not upcharge you because the box is flattened. It's as if they don't even realize it's a Funko Pop. Or it's just easier for them to sign. I don't yeah, know. I don't know either, but that is definitely something you want to do because you do not need to take the Funko Pop with you. In the past, we've actually taken our full Funko Pops with us. We put them in pop protectors and we carried around really heavy bags for the entire con. Highly recommend that you take your pops out of the box, you flatten your box like so, and that's how you carry it along with you. So this guy, I'm just gonna put in my purse because he'll fit. Well, I don't have enough room in the item I'm about to show you guys to put him in because we're taking the boxes flattened. But I'm actually going to give you a few options. So the most inexpensive option is to just take a flattened cardboard box. Now, what we typically do is we use painter's tape because it's very easy to sort of unhook as you go and get your autographs. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just completely cover the bottom with painter's tape so your items don't fall out of the bottom. That's very, very important. And the next thing we're gonna do is just, for example, put these items in the box and be careful not to damage your boxes. And then what I do is very simply do like, I don't know, two or three pieces of painter's tape on the top so that way in case you accidentally turn it upside down or whatever, you do not lose your items. But when it's time to go into the autograph line, you simply unhook the tape. Yeah, the painter's tape is perfect because it doesn't have as much adhesive as typical tape. You pull your items out and hand them to the celebrity. So the next item I'm gonna have Chris flash on the screen. Our friend Tymon brought this to a convention that we met him at very recently, and it worked really well. He basically put a piece of cardboard within this bag and it zipped right up and it had these shoulder straps and he just held it on his shoulder for the whole con. And I really, really, really liked that. What we are going to be using today is something we've never used before, but I think that it's gonna work so well and I'm so excited that I found it on Amazon. So this is like an artwork bag. So this is essentially made for children to carry like their artwork to and from class. Okay. It has a strap here, but it also has backpack straps. Oh, that's great. And I have some pieces of cardboard for reinforcements because the one downside is that it is soft. 
Oh, it's a little flimsy. Yeah, so I think that this will work very well. So I'm putting a piece of cardboard on either side. And hold on, I have one more tortuga. Because we're gonna get tortuga signed for one of our lucky patrons. Okay, so all of our boxes are in here. Now we can zip up the sides. There we go. And look, let's let's take a look at this for a minute. If we unzip, I want to know how easy the app. Oh, the access is so easy. So you just pull everything right out. Look how easy that is. That's awesome. And what color are you going to get Nebula signed? Uh, purple. And what about Ulysses Claw? Yellow. Yellow. These are paint pens, and we actually have a video where we go over all the different paint pens that we found on the market, and we found the very, very best ones, so we highly recommend you go and check that video out. We will link that in the description below. And this is actually one that we didn't get to use in that video because decos that I did get were water-based, and you never want to use a water-based pen. You always want to use an oil-based pen if you're putting it on plastic. The water-based take forever to dry and they just don't look good when it comes to pops. Yeah, so as you can see, this is a brand new pen that has not been primed before and Chris is beating the crap out of it. Those are all the colors that we've tested out. You can see the yellow, the red, and the two different purples. And I actually like, I think this lighter purple the most. I think that color will look good on Nebula. So that's what we're gonna go with. Now, if you are questioning what color to use, I have a trick for you. You basically get a pop protector, a soft pop protector, put it over your pop, and... So you can actually test out what color is going to look best on your Funko Pop. So I heard nothing but good things about these deco colors, but again, I accidentally ordered water base and didn't realize until we were actually making the video for our autographs. But this pen seems to work really, really well. It dries really fast. The Sharpie's already dry and I did that way before I put a little mark on this. And I mean, it's less than a minute, it's fully dry. That's awesome. And if you wanna clean off your protector, use an alcohol wipe, that'll wipe it right off. All right, so now we are prepared to go to our convention. Almost. Are you ready for my favorite thing? Sure. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. So we have all of our items in here. We have our markers in here and we are ready to go to the con. Where are we, Max? Awesome con. Huh? Awesome con. I can't hear you. I, I can't even hear what you're saying. What did you say? There's too much noises. That's what that's called. No, that's called being a sh We are getting an autograph by Andy Circus. He's gonna be signing our call. He is. Yeah. Okay, we're not getting him because apparently he was only there for a couple minutes and then he left to do a photo op and he's not gonna be back for another two hours. I think we will return. Yeah. It's yeah. Be a while. We're probably gonna have to like get whatever autographs we want and then get food and then come back. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I'm gonna be hungry. Yeah. And I think this guy's gonna be hungry too. I'm already hungry. Of course you are, you're always hungry. My legs are also tired. And your legs hurt as well. But did you expect that? Yeah, this is why we don't go to Disney World. You're 
You're so much sweeter than Nebula. Oh, I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> sure. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go with Signature. And I'm gonna go Whoa. that we attended to get those items signed and I just have to say that that little backpack aka like kids art portfolio worked so well. Yeah this thing was a lifesaver typically we're carrying around this cardboard but having a bag like we did with a strap on it made things so much easier. Yeah the strap on really helped a lot. <laughs> One thing that I would do differently though is we were sort of in a rush yesterday so I just grabbed some random cardboard boxes that we had that are like folded up. But what I would have done was like taken some larger pieces of cardboard and cut them to size of the actual bag because it just worries me like the uh, flap yeah. sort of hanging out yeah. like they shifted a bit. We were up late and then we were recording the video and by the time we were done it was sort of just like okay, we have to rush out the door. But that's the only thing that I would have done differently. This thing was freaking awesome. Yeah, I would say this bag is the best thing we've ever purchased in terms of like storage for convention related things. Like we've carried backpacks around a lot and I feel like if we tried to put a flattened box inside the backpack, it would have gotten screwed up. But this is just perfection. You can actually put your pens in here as we mentioned earlier in the video and then your boxes go on the inside of this thing. We're gonna give you the link to this item in the description down below. This is super, super important when it comes to getting autographs when you're going to cons, specifically for Funko Pop boxes because this fits Funko Pop boxes. When it comes to posters and things, obviously that's a completely different story. But for Funko and other related collectibles of the size, you need this. Yeah, this thing was so amazing and it made things very, very easy. I think that the deco markers are just as good as the Sharpies based off of our experience with the yellow one. I absolutely loved it. It dries fast and it just looks so good. If you go back and watch our autograph video that we had previously done, some of the cheaper markers that were oil-based, they sort of like spider webbed. What we did on the boxes just didn't look good. Sharpies look fantastic and the deco oil base look amazing as well. Unfortunately, Amazon doesn't have a crazy amount to choose from, but I am having Chris link some medium point Sharpies in the description below, as well as a set of deco oil base. But another great place to look is Hobby Lobby and Michaels. They always have a pretty good selection of Sharpies at least. I don't know about deco, but those are two paint pens that I highly recommend. Yeah, they got the job done and they look fantastic. I mean, Look at our autographs here from yesterday on these two Funko Pops. They look great. In my personal opinion, I think Heather did something really brilliant here. And it's something that I wanted to talk about in this video since we're on the subject. 
I think having your collectible sign directly on the collectible itself is a really cool thing. Specifically for this piece, I'm not entirely sure how I would feel across the board. With pops, it, you come across this problem of them probably being too small. Like I feel like if you did that, you would want an oversized pop. Right, right, yeah. Or just a different sort of item because look at how big her signature is. I mean, how could I she know, fit that? I know, it'd be hard to fit it on there. Yeah. Yeah, but I love the fact that you went with having him sign the face of the figure. So I guess when it comes to you twos, this is a little bit easier, specifically this figure. I know a lot of the other figures they make are a little bit bigger than a Funko Pop. So maybe this is something that people might want to start doing. This might be a trend starter. So a fun fact, when we got this signed by Danny Trejo, he had no idea this even existed and he wanted his handler to take a picture of it so he could go and I guess look it up later. I, I don't know what the point of that was, but he was super excited to see this piece. Yeah, it's a super cool piece. And this was like one of the coolest, most badass episodes of the entire show. If you've never seen Breaking Bad, I'm gonna be one of those annoying people and say, Go and see it. One more thing that I wanted to touch upon on this video, we talked about the paint pens that we do recommend, how to sort of test what colors you want to see on your pops, what color would look best. But a question that we get all the time is what size paint pen do I get? These are the two sizes that I recommend. I wouldn't go any larger than this probably unless someone's signature was like super simple. I have to say that the fine point works better for getting quotes and things. Yes. And the medium point is great as well. I have pop signed in both. So there's not a huge difference, but you can definitely see that there's a slight difference in size. Realistically, it's up to what color you find that you like better and how much you're gonna be having the star right on your pop. Yeah, so the top one is a bigger pen and the bottom one is the smaller fine tipped pen. I like the fine tipped ones. I think that's perfect. So our experience at Awesome Con was really great. The only problem was the long lines. The lines really, really sucked. But the one really cool thing is this was the first time that we actually had influencer badges. That was really, really cool. So a big shout out to Awesome Con for providing influencer badges for us. We were able to capture all the footage that you saw in this video, and we were able to hang out with a bunch of friends, and our friends were really nice and handed off some cards, so we had some jump the line passes, which if we did not have those, we wouldn't have gotten these signed. So I highly recommend if you're going to get a bunch of autographs to get the VIP at Awesome Con so you can jump the line with those jump the line passes because they are awesome. So what did you think of this video? How do you feel about the marker recommendations that we gave? And what do you think about that amazing bag? We would love to know all of that and more in the comment section down below. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we like to shout out to Tony Hegman, Greg F., Ryan Thomas, David Jones, Brian Barrick, Danny Allen, Zach Bonifer, Cliff Demzik, Cody Pace and Laura Maxey, and Lindsay. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. Thank you so much for staying until the end of the video. We appreciate you so, so much. Remember to head over to Poppin' Off Toys for all of your Funko Pop, Funko Soda, and Funko Mystery Mini needs. They have so many things. We have a link in the description below. Guys, remember as always, we are together, yes. We'll catch you next time. Bye.